In this video, we're going to focus on the second part, which is creating a scene in 3JS. And this is part of the 3JS tutorial. So what we have so far is we have our copy paste version here. But what is now really important is just to start understanding at least this part here. So that we're going to break down this code here so it makes far more sense. So what's going on here? Well, first of all, we here, we need to create a scene. If you were wondering, what is a scene? Well, a scene is, is basically the container where we will have the 3D element or the 3D design as shown. So that's the container. So, the, and this container will eventually be what we call a canvas. So that's where we're going to draw it in. So we have here this scene, we create a new scene, which is tree.scene here, and this is a constructor. And then this here has a camera. The camera defi defines the camera, camera defines the view or, or better the uh, field of view. That's what they call that, the field of view. All right, it's also the same here right now, if you would read it here, here we have this, and then we have here the the field of view. All right, so what does it really have? It has a degree, a val the values in degrees. So here you have this value here. What does this really mean? This is basically the angle. So I want you to imagine the following. We're using right now the perspective camera and the perspective camera is basically seeing it from a human eye point of view. All right, however, the angle is quite large. 75% is quite large. Commonly, it's probably more like 55 to 60%, uh, uh, 60 degrees. And what I refer to this, if you're wondering, what does this really mean? Well, I want you to look at well, right now. You're looking at the screen. How far are you able to see on the left and the right? And this is quite important because without moving your eyes you're not able to move to left and right the only thing what you're able to see is basically you basically your vision on the front and maybe you can see the left and right side very blurred even if you keep on looking straight you can try this exercise look straight at your screen and while trying to figure out what you see on the left or right side of your space basically that's very important because you will see that you might not be able to see much. You see some blurred stuff and a good exercise would be if you have a book, put a book in the, somewhere in your on the left or right side of your view of vision and see if you can read any of the characters or letters on it. You will notice that it will be a try, it will be quite a struggle. So, and that is basically the angle here. The bigger your angle means that the bigger your your view is. And the 60, and this is would be the closest to a normal human view. Of course, you can do bigger if you want. And in this case, here by default, is 75. So let's put this on 55, which is a more common view. And if we refresh here, you will see now it zooms in, or the experience looks like it zoomed in, but in reality, it didn't zoom in. What happened is left and right has been cut away a bit more because we are not able to view that part of the vision. So that's, or basically that part you're not able to see. So it restricts that part. So the bigger your scope of view, the more you're able to see, to see as well. So once we have this, we need to define here, besides the scope of view, we need to also define basically the inner width of the window or basically where do we, how big will this be? Remember, we're working with a container. This is the container and we need to define the width of the container here. And of course the height. By, de by default, by default, we need to make this. There's a console.log. We look at what is this exactly. And you will see that this is the size of my window and the height of my window. And if I'm talking about window, I am not talking about my screen. I'm talking about the window of the browser. So if I refresh this and open up my developer tab, you can see in the console log, my browser, if I click on this, you can see, there you are. My browser size is 1114 multiplied by the height of 685. So that's exactly matching here. So this is what happens. Basically, this will be the container where everything will be drawn in. So once you have this, all right, so we have this now, the final part eventually will be the basically the frontum and the frontum is what 
is a camera able to see? Remember, it depends on which angle it is, and I'm not referring to it here. This is the scope of view, or basically the, the field of view that you can see with your eyes or with the camera, but then it's also the frontum is uh, the distance or the far away of an object. Remember, if an object would be more closer, you're not able to see a certain part of the object. And this could be so far in that you can almost zoom in. So by default, this is set on 0 0.1 and this is set on 2. So if I save this here and you will you know, see that hardly anything changes. But what happens if I increase this to 4.5? Then if I refresh, you can see now one part is black. You might wonder what's going on. In reality, what's really happening is the camera has been zoomed in basically here. Or where the camera is positioned. The camera is positioned just... Uh, in the cube as of now so what happens is so it cannot see the very first or the front part here of the corner because it's so inside it is inside of it this is why what happens here and if i increase this to five what happens is that it goes already in here you can see it's probably within 50 percent of the cube so this is why you're not able to see the entire cube so this is basically where is the camera positioned within how far or how how nearby within an object and you can see here this is not so important for now later on it becomes more important but for now at least you have this understanding I would, I would just say leave this just on 0 0.1 so once you have this all right so we're done here then eventually is the next part is the renderer and the renderer is basically drawing render means to render to render is to draw the element or the item here or draw the scene so we're drawing it but of course we didn't later on we will discuss more about what we're going to draw but right now we just want to draw one thing and the only thing what we're going to draw is basically this here is we're going to set a size create the size that we have that's that's here as well and then we're going to put it in the body so we're going to append the child to the parent here which would be the body so basically here what really happens is draw the canvas we're going, this is what it really does. It draws, but what does it draw? It will draw by appending it to the canvas. So it, in Tree.js, it understands it works as a canvas, so it's already built in here by having this append renderer. So if you want to understand what that really means, we can say you console.log, and then all we do is the following is here. And if we save this, and we refresh, open up the developer tab, and then you can see here we are drawing here the canvas with and height that we have specified here as ready and here as well. We basically it understands how big will be the canvas and how uh, well the height and the width of it. So that's the most important one for this specific code here. In the next video I will cover the geometry and the material part.